Chile, June 12 of 2024. Eh, aquí están sacando a Don Ramón ahí. A don Los sillones jodieron. El agua está allá por el fondo. Los sacopeles salieron todos. Mira, voy, así está, no podemos pasar. Está inundado para allá. No se puede pasar. Comerciales, todo inundado. Todo inundado, todo inundado, todo inundado. The intense storm of wind and rain that hits the center and south of Chile has so far left almost a thousand people affected. Hundreds of homes damaged and roads cut off by floods and rising rivers, which is why the government declared a disaster zone in one of the hardest hit regions. According to a balance on Wednesday morning from the National Disaster Prevention Service, or SINAPART, the regions most affected by the front of Nubal, Biu Biu and Araucania, which concentrate the country's first three activity, in which there have been power cuts, routes, landslides and suspensions of classes. Sí, que me imagino que la comuna tiene que estar igual, pero... Eso, eso, eso quería señalarle. Colega, lamentablemente esta vez nos estamos inundando. The Meteorological Authority predicts that strong winds and rain will continue this week in the three regions, where there is also agricultural activity, and that the storm will extend to the north, to the capital Santiago, and to the Coquimbo region, but without reaching the North Minor. On Tuesday night, the government declared a disaster zone in the entire Bio, Bio region, where more than 1.5 million people live, to expedite emergency response, particularly in the contracting of services and the purchase of goods to help the people affected, said Vice Minister of the Interior, Manuel Monsal. The mining regulator Serna Gyomin, for its part, forests said there are moderate to very high possibilities of landslides in coastal areas and in the mountain range between the region of Coquimbo and Los Rios, between the central north and south of the country. Yeah, Mercado. The copper activity of Chile, the largest global producer of the red metal, is concentrated in the extreme north of the South American nation, but there are mines in the central area. During a recent storm in May, this continued to operate. According to meteorologists, it is estimated that from the night of June 12 to Friday, rainfall of around 60 mm per square meter will fall. The governor of the metropolitan region, Claudio Orego, has asked that classes at schools and universities be suspended and travel reduced to a minimum. Santiago de Chile, with nearly 10 million residents, is one of the least prepared capitals for rain in Latin America.
Little rainfall in recent weeks caused massive and prolonged power outages. Fallen trees, flooding in streets and basements and highways, collapsed roofs, landslides in disorderly cities and traffic jam which is serious. The forecast also predicts that the maximum categories of extra tropical cyclones and atmospheric rivers hitting the country will reach the north central region of Coquimbo, Valparaiso, and O'Higgins through a frontal system. In several places in this area, rainfall can reach 85 mm per square meter in one day with heavy intensity. Specifically, Sinapart stated that the meteorological events have so far left 482 people affected while another 479 remain isolated and almost 8,000 are without electricity. Bio, Bio was declared a disaster zone on Tuesday night, a measure that allows the operation of public services to be streamlined and the state's response measures to be accelerated, explained the Deputy Minister of the Interior, Manuel Monsalve. From Germany, where he is on an official visit, Chilean President Gabriel Boric referred to the situation and stated that it was decided to declare a state of catastrophe because all of the resources of the state must be available to help all those who need them. Starting on Thursday, the frontal system should begin to move towards the north and interior of the country, including the metropolitan region and the capital, Santiago, where experts warn of critical situation and for which classes were suspended in several communes as a way precautionary. <laughs> 